What's going on guys? JPS back for another video and I'm here with Arturo. What's good? And today we're going to be watching top 10 things you should never do in the UK. We're back with another duo reaction. Stefan is taking a bit of a break because we are in the midst of final season guys. It's very yeah, stressful it is. for us uni students but mm -hmm. we're pushing through and we'll be yeah. on to the other side very soon. So 10 things you should never do in the UK. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do in the UK. It's a great place to visit, but at the same time, there's some things that if you do them, the Brits will get really pissed. <laughs> so we're going to learn about some of those things today. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, consider joining the Patreon. First link in the description for four reactions to British shows and movies. And let's get right into this. Let's start by saying that in no way are we trying to scare you away from visiting the UK. But if you are a tourist or an international student in the UK, then wouldn't it be better to know a few things that could offend people there? We mean, you don't want to hurt anyone with your actions or words, let alone get into trouble in a foreign land. People would understand that you may take a while to adjust to the new surroundings and customs. But if you want to save yourself from embarrassing situations as a newcomer in the UK, we have compiled a list of things that you should avoid doing there. Number one, calling the United Kingdom England. <laughs> Before you take the flight to anywhere in the UK, know its full so form. With this one. UK stands for <laughs> the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Do you realize what this means? This, this is, so, this is so funny to me because I'm thinking about people getting mad just off, <laughs> off someone saying that. <laughs> Wait, like go back a little bit. I look it in like... Okay, Before so. you take the flight to anywhere in the UK, know its full form. All right, so UK stands for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and North Ireland. So, like, if you call, people like to be called their own country or their own nationality, but if you mistakenly call someone something, they'll get mad at you. Like, okay. for example, if you call someone from Scotland English, they're going to get mad. So like, what are you calling, British? No, Scottish. They okay. want to be called Scottish. And they don't want to be called British either because they don't want to be grouped in with other people. Right. They want to be... Individual, they, right? Yeah, because that's what they true like deep down. That's through all the layers. That's what they are. That's their culture. I, that's, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but so, some people definitely get mad. Yeah. <laughs> UK stands for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Do you realize what this means? The UK consists of four countries: Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Moreover, each country has its own distinctive culture, national identity, and government. So before you begin your sentence with, England's landscapes are, confirm that you really are in England and not Scotland, which is a separate country. Number two, ask if they know the queen. How would you feel if some tourist in the US asked if you knew Donald Trump? <laughs> You'd call that person plain stupid for assuming that everyone breathing the US air knows the president. So how do you expect people in the UK to personally know the royal family? More than 60 million people live in the UK, and over 8 million of those live in Greater London alone. There is no way that these people know their monarch more than the internet knows. <laughs> you won't offend people with this question, but will definitely make them laugh. In your face. Number three, block the escalator. Escalators are common in most countries, and we don't give much thought about the do's and don'ts while we are standing on it. Well, you'd be surprised to know that there is indeed a wrong way to stand on an escalator, at least in the UK. It is an unspoken rule in this part of the world that if you want to stand still, you should stay on the right-hand side. Yeah, we, we kind of do that here. Well, the left hand... Like in the metro station, yeah. people will stand to the right and then let people like pass by on the left. Yeah, but so uh, again, there's always people who just are completely oblivious yeah, and stand always. in the middle or on the left. <laughs> and I, I feel like we have more of those in the United States, especially when it comes to driving, like... Yeah. passing on the left people just don't even there's no unspoken rules it's just yeah. mayhem and chaos <laughs> on any interstate <laughs> ridiculous but th this is a good rule some yeah, people have got definitely. some busy beavers i guess can side of the escalator <laughs> is reserved for those people who are in a hurry you know the lot who believe that by running through the escalator and saving about 30 seconds <laughs> they would get to their destination on time just remember if you don't want to be pushed past then stay on the right Number four, jump a queue. Many of us don't give much importance to a queue. You know, the ones we see outside a dessert kiosk because, well, an ice cream craving can't wait. But don't do that while you're in the UK, simply because that is bad manners. Even if you think it is a petty thing and shouldn't annoy anyone, you aren't doing it here. Before you attempt any such adventure, 
know that those people ahead in the queue came here first Bro, and deserve to be served <laughs> first. So, what, is this, what is this B-roll <laughs> yeah. that I chose for this video? <laughs> this is like a strange assortment of clips that they chose. Like, why do they choose these clips? I don't know. But they are right about this, though. The cues they take so, so seriously. Like, it's... They don't call it a line? No, they call it... Yeah, they call it... A cue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a cue makes sense, honestly. They both make sense, because you're in a line, but you're also queuing to wait. Yeah, I guess. So. I've, I've only seen queue, like, in the context of, like, video games. Like, oh, I'm in the queue to get into a server. Which is the, the line to get it. It's yeah. the same thing. I guess. I guess kind of associated with, like, a virtual, but they use it in real life. That's kind of cool. I, I agree with this rule though. Cues should yeah. be taken seriously. Yeah. Here we have people when they want their McDonald's, they go to the front <laughs> of the character, uh, the counter and try and play some games. Bro, when I when I was in Canada, there was like a line for like to take pictures at this um this thing in Ottawa, and like me and my mom, and my little brother, we didn't see like the line at all. We just like skipped like we didn't like oh, we were so oblivious no. and we just skipped right past. And then we noticed after like oh there was a line, <laughs> and my mom was like classical American. So. <laughs> I yeah ev I mean everyone has done it yeah um, yeah it happens to everyone <laughs> in the United States in Britain <laughs> you'll hear someone if you if you walk past them you'll hear it immediately really where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Get pass back. where are you going <laughs> why do you want any inconvenience in the form of a fight stay in the queue wait for your turn and all will go swiftly number five pick up a rented car. We don't mean to say that driving in this country is illegal, but you can get yourself and others in trouble by driving. Ah, we have created a nice bit of suspense here. We deserve a what pat the on the back. It's a dog car. Jokes aside, the thing is that you will have to drive on the left side of the road here. Oh, yeah, we and if you come from a nation where that. the opposite is the norm, you might have a tough time learning this. <laughs> have you ever seen when that? When you movie? are new to that, a place. I'm assuming that's Dumb and Dumber too. Yeah, Dumb I feel like I recognize the guy, but I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I've, I've never seen the movie. It looks kind of funny, though, if I'm being honest. You know how in, like, uh, car commercials, people always drive like this? With, like, yeah. Their heads straight and stuff? Yeah. Like, if I see perfect. someone on the road driving like that, I'm scared. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> That's not... They're like NPCs. <laughs> like, you're not real. <laughs> Such experiments are the last thing you should be doing, right? Plus, remember, you don't know your way around, so you'd be consulting maps on a busy road Bro, while getting so used weird. to driving on the wrong side. Number six, talk about money. You don't ask someone how much they earn or how much money they have in their pocket unless you are family or very close friends, right? Come on, that's basic decency. People in the UK might feel offended if you ask too many questions about money. In fact, boasting about your wealth is also not going to be appreciated. So keep the big bucks in your pocket. Number seven, I like that. greet inappropriately. Yeah, Meeting fair. someone for the first time and experiencing that awkward situation <laughs> where you go for a hug <laughs> while the other stops you with a handshake. Ever been there? If you don't want to find yourself in that situation in the UK, just go for a handshake because they aren't too comfortable making physical contact with strangers. Hugging and kissing on the cheek is reserved for people they know well and are comfortable with. Oh, and what do you say when someone asks you, how are you? By no means. This is a big difference. Yeah. When I was in York, there was this uh, a leader in New York, and he, he was called the York, York uh, Lord Mayor. The York I don't know Lord how titles Mayor. and things work in Britain. It's complicated. But anyways, he's an important guy, right? Okay. I guess a political figure kind of thing, but I don't know. Right. Anyways, I put my arm around him, cause, and, and like this other lady just to pose for a picture mm -hmm. but i was told after that that was like inappropriate and really you're not supposed to you know oh, oh that's wow. what i'm saying but in the united states like we're much more yeah i feel we like can I, be a lot more pushy with that the physical yeah. stuff like yeah that's we can not, be more physically intimate, <laughs> intimate I feel we like. can definitely yeah especially with strangers yeah 100 percent. and what should we call it i was gonna say like and like i know like in south america like that's like the norm there at least when I when, I, when I've been like Peru and stuff hugging. like they like, hugging and kissing like for family members you kiss in the cheek, yeah. Right, I guess that's for family members. But I've noticed also you know. the kissing on a cheek even with people that you're not as close with like just among adults. Yeah, they don't. They don't I feel like I don't, I don't really see too many adults here in the U.S. kissing on the cheek like that. No, but in other cultures, I think yeah. like I'm not sure which ones specifically. I I want to say like Russian or or some other, like other. I don't know. But yeah, I, I know that's a that's a big thing. Right. Yeah, kissing on the cheek. Yeah. 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 But uh, the Brits, a bit more reserved, definitely. <laughs> no means is this a cue that you can start off your saga of nasal allergies if you don't want the person to never see your face again. 
Every how are you is followed by fine, thank you, and nothing else. Number eight, fake their accent. No matter how many times you have practiced the British or Scottish accent, don't use it because it probably isn't that good. People aren't going to like it if you force their accent, and especially when you are doing it all wrong. You will make it look like you aren't a part of them and are desperate to lose your identity and mix with them. Wouldn't it be better if you first make friends with natives of Wales and then try a Welsh accent? Number nine, voice opinions about Brexit. Facts. We know that Brexit is, is the topic Brexit? of discussion in pretty- All right, Brexit is when Britain left the European Union. They were a part of the European Union for a bit, or for a while, mm -hmm. and then they voted to leave because they wanted to be independent and they wanted more like British. It's uh, you know what? Even explaining it is kind of controversial because really? of how, it's just so. It has effectively divided Britain between people who wanted to stay in the European Union mm -hmm. and Brexiters, aka people who wanted to leave. Right. There's a lot of reasons between them. It happened around COVID, so. Oh, this is recent. It, yeah, yeah. It happened oh, like shit. actually during COVID, basically, oh, and all the aftermath. A lot of it is in this like weird limbo phase where people try and say a lot of the economic things going on are as a result of the pandemic and not a result of leaving. So a lot of it got mushed together. Yeah. So it's so, hard to like separate what's really happening. Yeah. Uh, and people okay. use that to their advantage. Yeah. But the whole point is it's like this it's like Republicans and Democrats in the United States. It just okay. split everyone up like this. Damn. So I just call it the B word and, and the try B -word. try and avoid it, bro. <laughs> this you wanna get in an argument with someone, you bring Talking this up. Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! So this hasn't come up in like any of our videos we've done in the past. That, well, you, that's exactly why. <laughs> no one wants to talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. It's like that elephant in the room. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Pretty much the entire world. But you can't be walking around spitting your views about it when you are in the UK. People there are directly related to it, and your views can be taken personally. And what happens when someone takes your casual opinion personally and in a negative light? Yes, they get offended and might beat you up. Okay, maybe we went too far with the beating up part, but you still don't want to risk it. Number 10, mess with the Queen's Guard. Did that bushy hat fool you? Oh, people, the Queen's Guard isn't your friend, and you aren't forgetting that. You may fool around with him a bit, and he won't pay much attention, let alone punish you. But there is a line drawn, and you must never cross it, because the consequences won't be pretty. Never. <laughs> we repeat. So these guards, they guard Buckingham Palace, and like right. American tourists are always known for messing around with them. Really? They're like, hey, hey, because they're not allowed to like break out of character. The guards. Oh, that's their so whole you're point. fucking with them. Yeah, so they're trying to get them to like. Yeah, that's that's classic. It's, yeah, it's messed up. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> they get really mad sometimes though. Never and touch the guard so. because once you do that, prepare yourself for a world of hurt. Look at this. Do you want oh, that gun, wild. the one that was oh. fascinating you, to be pointed at you? If not, maintain a respectable distance from the guard. He deserves it. How was your experience in the UK? Tell us in the comments section. So, that's 10 things you should never do in the UK. I, I would agree with that list. Those yeah. are all things you definitely want to avoid. Basically, those are ways of, of non-verbally saying, I'm an American, if you do those things. <laughs> Type shit. Yeah, it seems pretty uh, fair. And straightforward. Things, yeah, it doesn't seem anything like crazy. Like, it just seems like some nice manners and everything, which we can lack sometimes. They're but. big on manners. That's yeah. an, an etiquette, especially with eating, as you know. Yeah. You've already learned that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my, my grandpa, my, my grandparents, and like when I was like young, like they used to be like super particular about that. Like, no elbows on the table. My parents, too. Yeah, they were. Yeah, no elbows on the table, knife yeah. and fork, Sit all this. Sit up straight. I think no that slouch. makes you want to do it. Yeah, it La does. like yeah, it, it makes yeah. you want to go against. It makes the you want to rebel. Like when I eat by my salad, like finally I can eat like a slouch. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, uh, you're shoveling food in my mouth like a pig. But yeah. <laughs> it is true though. Man. We're sweet so quickly. Yeah, no, yeah. Sometimes I like I like subconsciously just be eating like 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 a slouch. Honestly, like it'll look bad, and I'm like, oh shit, like let me slow down. Let me actually like. I have to make like, a conscious effort. Yeah, I do sometimes. Every time I eat honestly, it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, just <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> We're hungry, guys. We're hungry. We're growing. Come on. <laughs> We're going, boys. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is a cool little list. Um, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.